Next question is from blank name. Blank name is saying, I'm currently taking a philosophy class. When you study it, you realize the limitation of human understanding. After reading Hume, I feel completely lost. I'm not sure whether I exist. So good. You have to, okay. The best response to Hume's radical skepticism eventually was responded to by Karl, Karl Popper, right? So if you if you're stuck in the you know 1700s 1800s age of, you know enlightenment age philosophy um you will get to the point where you know everything seems like up in the air like but once you eventually keep coming to the modern era everything starts making sense again <laughs> wait so when i saw because there's a second question from blank name that i'm just going to put in the same segment um when i saw um blank names questions about philosophy it, i think it was literally the embodiment of this graph so happiness <laughs> versus knowledge of philosophy and it's like depresso guy being like maybe philosophy will improve my life and then like over a short period of time it's like joy like i've learned so many things and then the longer you keep learning philosophy <laughs> it just turns into this little husk <laughs> saying help <laughs> <laughs> this is literally it, though. This is knowledge of philosophy. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. As, <laughs> as, okay, okay. As funny as that that is, I kind of, I think the way, the way, okay, that is funny. I don't want to like d deny that that's funny. Okay, but the main, the way you have to look at philosophy is categorizing body of knowledge that hasn't been properly given into its scientific field yet do you know what i mean like philosophy is just looking at the questions and proper putting in the right context and the if, if philosophy when done right is organizing the organizing the questions ha you have about the world and just framing it in the proper with proper language and making sure that we understand what it is that we're being asked and what the possible answer to that would be right but once you pass that phase each one of these questions would be better answered when with a more scientific way of looking at the world within a scientific field of what the you know for example if it's a big like if you're asking questions about history, right? You could have childish answers like Hegel and be like, oh, like, you know, there's the world is within, there's, the, there's a, the, history has a conscious and it's in a conflict with itself and it goes through these cycles. Just make up theories, just pull it out of your ass and just make up stuff and just call it philosophy, right? Um, and even, in, even enlightenment philosophers, they just like, this this was just like pure rationalism like as in like you're just sitting on your chair and just thinking about stuff and just writing it down right but at some point when you have organized these simple like good philosophy is also simplifies things rather than makes them more complicated right but at some point when you have organized all these questions and know how to frame them how to think about them properly when you get to the you realize by doing philosophy itself that the way to answer them is not rationalism, but it's uh, empiricism, right? It's like yep. going out and getting data <laughs> from the outside world, right? This is why um, I prefer psychology, because you actually go seek for observable phenomena. Yeah, yeah. And then, then you have to figure out what is the best way of organizing observations and making sense of it, right? And then you realize that would become so you do philosophy so that you could get out of philosophy. That's what I'm saying. You, you do philosophy so that you could actually finally get to answering them. And you could even use philosophy to figure out what is the best way of answering them. And using philosophy to answer that question, the answer is it's not philosophy. Do you know what I mean? So you, <laughs> the, the Ooh, answer is that's science. very true. That's very true. That, Wait, the blank answers. name. You should go watch a video that Armin did on his personal channel, and I think it was just called "The Problem with Philosophy." Mm. Wasn't that what it was called? Yeah, but you know, I'm not dissing philosophy. I'm just saying that you have to move past philosophy. 
um, at some point, philosophy will n not have answers to these questions. Um, philosophy is just good for figuring out what the questions are and how and how to categorize them and what's the best way to frame them and what the possible answers would look like. But now to actually go and discover what the answers are, um, philosophy itself should lead you to the conclusion that the answer is not philosophy. That's the way I want to say it. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.